<laughs> Welcome to another episode of Interracial Reviews Halloween Month Special. This episode we're going to be exploring, exploring an abandoned airport. That is the door that we're going to open today. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I found this place here that seems to be the most abandoned part of the airport. So let's take a look at it. To be honest, I was getting creeped out a little bit, especially by this dark area here. San Luis Lumber International Airport rose to international prominence thanks to its groundbreaking air traffic control and its status as the primary hub of TWA. At about 8.10 p.m. on April 22, 2011, a Category 4 tornado struck the airport Terminals 1, destroying jetways and part of the sea concourse. And 50% of these windows blew out. Some blew in, causing some minor lacerations to passengers and people waiting in the airport and they had to be transported, uh, about four people transported by ambulance, three others treated here at the airport. Miraculously, nothing too serious. Now, here's some real footage of the tornado passing through the sea concourse. Very scary stuff. Now, here's the second footage of the tornado passing through the TSA area. Very scary. Now, fortunately, nobody was injured or killed. Now, this is the sea concourse how it is today, seven years after the events of the tornado. This is the abandoned walkway that was used to transport passengers all the way to the end of the sea concourse, all the way to C-38. Even though it's been seven years, the concourse is not fully open yet. Passengers can only access all the way to C-28. There is a wall that prevents passengers going past that point. I have been living in San Luis for the last three years. Oddly enough, San Luis was the first place that I visited the first time I got out from Puerto Rico. I was fortunately enough to fly and land in this airport in 1995 on a TWA 747. And now, I'm fortunately enough to be recording this. That right there is the wall that prevent anybody seeing the abandoned part of the sea concourse. That is the door that we're gonna open today. Even further than that, there's another section I want to take this moment to thank the police officer who was kind enough to open up the door and show us the abandoned and remodeling part of the sea concourse. 
But now I'm gonna take you outside of the concourse and show you how that abandoned part looks from the outside. I'm using the jet bridge stairway to access the runway and show you how it looks from the outside. can see it has more than two floors. The reason why this part of the Concord was so big is because of the huge jumbo jets that were used by many airlines, especially TWA in the 90s. TWA used San Luis Lambert International Airport as a major hub. I want to clarify that the concourse itself, this part specifically, is not totally abandoned. It's just under remodeling after the intense damage that suffered during the tornado in 2011. That is it, the last two gates of the sea concourse, C-38. Now, because this is a Halloween special, I'm gonna show you the airport at midnight. I found this place here that seems to be the most abandoned part of the airport. So let's take a look at it. To be honest, I was getting creeped out a little bit, especially by this dark area here. So I decided to leave. Pretty creepy, right? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing seeing abandoned stuff, abandoned places, especially an airport, partially abandoned after a tornado. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Before the end of this video, I wanna give a shout out to those amazing people who subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. And the first shout out, it is Seed Bearing. I hope I'm pronouncing that well, Seed Bearing. Thank you so much for subscribing. She was helping me a lot uh, buying uh, the new equipment to film uh, on interracial reviews. Keep up dreaming. I'm gonna put a link on, this, uh, on, his on her channel so that you guys can go check out her amazing stuff. She's also a creator. So the second one is Lee Jimerson. Lee Jimerson. Thank you so much, Lee Jimerson, for subscribing and supporting this channel. All right, guys, that's about it. Now, next week, or not next week, in the next couple days, we're gonna be posting another episode of scary stuff for the Halloween month special here in Interracial Review. So stay tuned. So. Thank you so much for watching, thanks for all the support, and if you like this video, please like, share, and hit the subscribe button. <laughs>